Hi everyone, my name is Erica Gonzalez. All right, so in this video, we're gonna learn how to use the feature with Wellness Living that allows you to sync your Outlook calendar. And so from here on my dashboard, I'm going to select the app drawer and I'm actually gonna go into my setup. So I'm already logged in again as a staff member. I'm going to select staff. It'll expand and I'm going to select staff members. So here I see my staff member selection. I'm already logged in as this staff. And from the menu over here, we're going to select calendar sync. Calendar sync now we have the option not only of Google, but of Microsoft. And so that is where I'm going to click so I can connect my Outlook calendar. I went through the sign-in process and I have now successfully synced my Outlook calendar to Wellness Living. Let us show you now how when I book a service on Wellness Living, how that will appear on my Outlook calendar. Okay, so I just hopped over on the nav bar. I selected the schedule and I see my schedule for the month of May. And so what I want to do is I want to add a service so then I can show you how it'll appear on your Outlook calendar. So let's go ahead and select add and I'm going to book a new appointment. Now the appointment will be for the client named Caitlin. And we are going to select a consultation service. Actually, let's do our personal training service. Okay, so the date we want it to be sometime in May. So I'm going to select May 10th. And our client told us that she wants to meet at 11 a.m. And let's select our staff. It's already pre-selected. Our asset, which is a room, will be the weight room. And now I'm just going to proceed with booking this session. Okay, so just to save us some time, I did go through the booking flow. I paid for the appointment, the session, and it's right here, May the 10th. And so that's booked, that's on our schedule. And now let's hop on over. I'm gonna log into my Outlook account so you can see in my Outlook calendar how this appointment appears. Right over here is where I'm able to see my calendars. So I have my personal calendar, nothing there, but I do see Wellness Living. And so if I select that, let's deselect my personal calendar, I'm able to see all my classes and my services rather. And then right over here, I'm able to see, if I hover over it, I can see that appointment that I have with that client. And so I can see all that information there. If I click on it, I can get a further detailed view. And great, so we were able to book that appointment from our business and it appeared within my Outlook calendar. Now I want to be able to book from my Outlook calendar and then indicate how it'll show on your business's staff hours. And so let's just say I completed the session and I want to have a post follow-up session. It was my first session that I had with the client. We want to do a post session to see if we are fit to work together. And so I'm going to go ahead and select the week afterwards. I click on the date and then the following window appears. So I'm just going to put here post follow-up session. And the client requested that they would like to meet at 8.30 and it'll be about an hour. And then you can just put in a description, uh, follow up to our first appointment. There we go. So everything is all saved there. And there we go. So we have that there for in our schedule, excuse me. And now let's go go on to back to our business's schedule within the staff hours in particular to see how it appears there. Okay, so I'm back in the business, in the staff back office, and I selected, just to show you, I selected the app drawer and I selected setup. So I'm here on setup, I'm gonna go into staff and I'm going to select my staff members. This is just a longer way. You can also just click on 
your profile right over here. Okay, but I'll just do it the way that I indicated. And so just going into setup, we're gonna go into our staff members. And then from here, I'm going to select working hours. So I can see here that what I scheduled for 8.30 to 9.30 appears in my working hours and it's for May the 17th. And so we booked from Outlook, it appeared in our staff hours. Lastly, I want to be able to show you how the same flow is applicable to clients who are using the client web app who are also able to sync to Outlook. All right, and I'm in the client web app. I signed in as a client named Janet, and so I see my schedule, but I'm going to head on over to the My Profile tab. And from here, if I scroll down, I am able to see now I have the option to connect to my Outlook as well. And so the same process like we just showed with our staff, you're going to simply click on the Microsoft button over here, sign in, the calendar will then successfully sync, and then you're able to have that same experience like was demonstrated with the staff when it comes to booking and it's showing on your Outlook calendar and vice versa. And so that is everything with our Outlook two-way sync. We hope that you find this very helpful and we will see you in the next video.